we're going to be looking at Shei Shei Kule, which we have sung before, which is a call and response song. What do I mean by call and response song? It's like an echo. Do they just say it? They sing it. They sing it. Well done. This is a year three lesson, which was part of a series of lessons listening to music from across the world. We've been listening to music from Africa, so we learned an African song and then we used it to develop their pitch and notation skills. So we're going to try and work out and write Shei Shei Kule. We use a simple song like Shei Shei Kule. It only has three notes. It's very repetitive, so that the children in a fairly short time can learn it, sing it, notate it, and really get a sense of achievement. Right, let's get that rhythm going. I'm going to do it again. All right. We then allowed some of the children to be involved and taking the lead, so different children came out of the front to volunteer to sing the call, and the other children responded. Cafe Salanga, Cafe Salanga, Cum Madende, Cum Madende. Brilliant, well done. Now we're going to have a look at Shea Shea Kule and we're going to see if we can work out our rhythm pattern with our teas and coffees. It's really useful to children to have a really firm handle on being able to write simple notation for rhythm down. Tea for a one beat note, coffee for quavers, half beat notes and soup for a minim. Tell me what this is. Tea. Tea. Brilliant. Coffee. coffee. How many beats, Megan? Two beats. Two beats. We were able to go through the whole song, putting in the rhythm notation for that, which they were able to do fairly easily, apart from a couple of lines where there are syncopated rhythms where I had to help them. We've got the co bit of coffee. Co All right. So on its own, look, a little half one. So it, though it says coffee, it isn't, because it's not coffee, it's coffee. So longer. So we need something a bit longer. We've got our tea, so it's co tea, and then we've got the end of the coffee bit there. We've split this up. Can you see? We've split our coffee up. It's syncopated. Can you say that? Syncopated. It's a syncopated rhythm. Okay. Now we're going to use our chime bars, and we're going to be writing the names of the notes, so the pitch to go with the rhythm. You've worked out all the rhythm, you clever people. Right, so you're brilliant musicians, so the next thing is to work out the pitch. Chime bars are easier for the children to use than glockenspiels. You can pull out just the notes that you need to be able to use. They're less confused, they're less likely to fiddle with them. They then went into pairs with a pre-printed sheet which had the rhythm notes on. They then had to work out the tune, which is quite challenging for some of them. So we kept stopping from time to time to look at a, a particular line, what note it starts with, how they were managing to do that. Kule, now do that with your hand. She, she, kule. Now we've worked out it starts on what note? Who thinks they can tell us what note? E. It starts on an E. Right, have a go at that. Printing out a large stave for children enables them to be able to write the music down themselves with some help. This means then that they can go back the following week and can play it back to themselves or play somebody else's music. This feels a real achievement. So first person plays the first bit, Shea Shea Kule, and the partner plays it back. Mini plenary is very useful in a, in a lesson like this because you can keep stopping the children and finding the children who've understood that well, who found the right notes, stop and help everybody else, move everybody on. It keeps the pace moving and ensures that you don't get some children who finish very quickly and other children who don't know what they're doing. OK, are we ready? We're going to have a go. Let's try Alyssa and Megan. One, two, three. Four. 
sometimes the children are getting a little bit tired towards an end of a lesson like that. So bringing everyone together and saying, let's all try this together, or allowing some of the children who've been able to do something quite successfully to perform for the others, allows everyone else to have a little breather and to enjoy the end of the lesson. I'm not going to do it today, but the next step would be to go and write our own call and response song with three notes.